What's up fish tank TV is Bubba Fish Tank and uh, today I'm bringing you an uh, update on the reef tank. Um, got some bad news and got some good news but however it is going pretty well. So excuse me for the allergies on the glass by the way but um, as some of you guys know I keep the allergies on the glass to make sure that the sea hare actually has something to eat because if it got, doesn't have anything to eat it basically won't survive. By the way guys, a little tip for you guys who have sea hares. I found a way to feed them. It is amazing. I saw him just gobbling it down. He loves it. You know, sea hares in the nature, they eat colifer, kelp and hair algae. So, if you buy this Omega 1 Super Veggie red seaweed, it has to be red. Um, because in this, it contains red kelp. And um, red kelp is basically important for sea hares, um, actually a lot of sea hares like California sea hares love kelp, they only eat kelp to California sea hares, um, but this one is not a California sea hare, he's just a, let me see if I can focus on that guy, he's, he's, he's kind of cute, but um, he eats this like crazy, he loves it, so uh, get that if you can, it works great, um, also you can feed your tanks and stuff like that with it, or dwarf angelfish. Um, however, the bad news, guys, let's get over that. Um, my fish have died of. Co no, not. <laughs> oh my god. Broglinella, it's called. Um, Broglinella is um, a parasite that eats the organs from the inside of the fish. So, uh, basically, they got that. And I was kind of hopeless because here in Denmark, you can't get medication. It is illegal to buy medication for aquariums here in Denmark. So. I had a hard time finding anybody that wanted to sell me something, but I actually got a guy who got who got it and gave me some, so I'm really happy for that. And um, before I got that, the bicolor angelfish died, and I thought, well, that's that's just how it is, and we'll see if I can save the clownfish because the clownfish was getting covered with white spots um, after its bro broccolilla attack. So I started doing some medication, but sadly it was too late, so that clownfish died as well. However, the medication I used isn't dangerous to invertebrates or anything like that. So everything else except the fish are doing fine. The sea hare, the shrimp, look at this guy, he's awesome. He just goes around like crazy. I'm soon gonna get some peramine shrimp, by the way. And then um, we got the sea hare, just chilling down there. We got the hermit crab somewhere. He, I think he fell down into this hole over here. No, he sits there. Just right there. You can see his shell. He sits and chills there. So, um, yeah. Basically, that's pretty much it um, for the bad news. But, the good news is that I got a new coral. An amazing coral. Look at this thing. It's frog spawn. A neon green frog spawn. Now, I got it yesterday, so it's not fully opened. However, it is doing very well. It loves the lighting in here, by the way. It it flourishes a lot. Um, it is coming along nicely, and it's looking good. So I expect that tomorrow it will come completely out. It has like come out a little bit, but it, it's hard to see with this camera. But it's like a bright green color, which I really really like. It's beautiful. The Cladelia finger lily here is doing fine as well. Um, just crazy I mean it has done crazy growths I mean it has grown at least six centimeters while I got it for three weeks ago it has grown six to seven centimeters since I got it and I don't know how but it did and it, it, it is getting huge it's kind of unrealistic to me because I didn't think I even could grow corals the sea bear anemone is doing fine as well he just anchored down here down in the sand as you can see up here down there there's sand right down there where it sits. There's sand and there's a red mushroom, by the way. However, it sits down there in the sand, and I have looked on um, its foot if it has attached itself, and it has. I have tried to like move it away. I can't. It is basically too hot. Um, by the way, can you see the crazy colors of this the sky down? Yeah, look at that. Look at that green color. That is amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing aquarium. I really love how it turns out. So, um, the Duncan Coral is growing like crazy as well. It has made two new heads on the back of it. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but it has. Um, and uh, yeah, 
that is pretty much it. Basically, there's the levels are good. Um, the salinity is at 1.0, 1.025. That was what I tried to say. And um, the calcium, magnesium, potassium, iodine, and stuff like that. Those levels are intact as well. So I'm planning on soon getting some um, seniors or something like that. Um, some seniors could be great to cover this rug that is right there. And then I'm going to get a torch color here because as some of you guys know, Euphilia species don't really kill each other because they don't sting each other as often. However, they have a very potent sting so I don't know if I should put something else there that that it can't reach. Maybe some like Soranfit or something like that. I don't know but I, I plan on having a torch color there. And down here, I'm planning on getting a scallop because it's actually very, very dark down there. There's a little cave where it can sit in, so I'm going to get a tiny little scallop just for fun because they're cheap and they're cool looking. And I, I'm sure I can take care of those guys. Um, what else? Oh yeah, so here on the top, I'm going to get SPS corals. I'm going to either get Montipara digitata or some bird's nest corals, um, but I'll see what I'll get. And then... Over here behind the frog spawn, let me show you, over there, right down in that crack right there, I'm I'm either going to get a chili coral, um, because they're non-photosynthetic, non and they don't require any light, um, however, I like Kenya trees as well, I think they're cool, they grow fast, they look amazing as well, but I'll see what I will get. Um, and for the new fish that I will get, I'll get a new bicolor angel fish. Um, and then I'll get two normal clownfish, or slow clownfish. Um, and yeah, it's just sad that my, my fish has died. I was really, really heavy for them and stuff like that. However, the bicolor angel fish seems to have some, seemed, I guess that's how you say it, seemed to have some problems with um, diseases because of its stress levels. I don't know why it got so stressed. It didn't seem stressed at all. However, I do not quite know the reason. However, I do have some theories. Um, like the window, I have my window open um, way too long so that the water will get cold because co saltwater fish can tolerate to come into warmer waters but not colder, wa colder waters because colder waters often contains more parasites and it's just not, it's a shock to the fish basically. So if those degrees in your uh, tank is swinging like hell, like if I put open my window, it's probably going to go down 3 degrees Celsius. And that's quite a lot. From like 26 degrees Celsius, it will go all the way down to maybe 22, 23 degrees Celsius. That is um, like crazy. So the fish can't tolerate that, but I don't know, maybe I ignored that because I think I have read it somewhere, but I just didn't really take it into action. That was kind of a big mistake. Either it was that, or then I don't know what else it is. I really don't, but I have tested everything and everything seems good. There's no nitrates at all, and yes, I mean no nitrates. There's, it's, it's unbelievable. Then there is no more um, like hair algae growing at all which is really really good um, the only thing that is growing is coralline algae and this green algae on, the, on the, the sides here that I sometimes take a razor blade and cut off um, but yeah so uh, the future things I'll get, I'll get the two clownfish, I'll get a clownfish pair I hope they'll go into the sea bay anemone but I don't know about as large clownfish however I have seen re some reports of people who actually got um, as large clownfish together with sea bay anemones so um, what else am I going to get? Oh yeah, two or three peppermint shrimp to take care of my Aptasia problems. I hope they will eat the Aptasia. And uh, that's pretty much it. So yeah. Well, see you guys in another video.